वेलकम बैक टू लिटरेचर गाइड टूडेज वीडियो इज अबाउट वर्टिसिजम आर द वर्टिसिस्ट मूवमेंट दिस वीडियो गिवज यू इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स एंड एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ वर्टिसिजम इन लिटरेचर इट ऑल्सो गिवज यू इंपॉर्टेंट इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट द ग्रुप ऑफ द वर्टिसिस्ट मूवमेंट इन लिटरेचर वर्टिसिजम कैन बी कंसिडर्ड एज द चाइल्ड ऑफ जॉर्जियन पोएट्री इट बिगैन इन नाइनटीन हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेल्व एंड एंडेड इन नाइनटीन फिफ्टीन द coined by Ezra Pound and it began in 1914 under the leadership of Wyndham Lewis this video will be important for the students who have been pursuing competitive exams such as the net and set exams conducted by UGC India I have tried my level best to give you important information about vorticism. I have already produced many videos on English drama, poetry, prose and criticism. If you visit my channel, you will definitely get useful information on this particular channel literature guide. I would like to thank all my subscribers and non-subscribers who have given staunch support to this channel literature guide i don't want to waste your time let's dive into the video and enjoy the video vorticism the origin of vorticism can be traced in the imagist movement of 1914 and it can be deemed as the offshoot of the imagist movement the term vorticism has been coined by Ezra Pound who was associated to the imagist movement as a movement vorticism survived for a short span of time from 1912 to 1915 roughly speaking it was a much developed form of imagism the vorticists reacted against victorian sentimentality and it emphasized abstract art and writing They attempted to mingle the dynamic energy of modernity with form in art and writing. Though the term vorticism was coined by Ezra Pound much earlier in 1912, it began in 1914 as a movement under the leadership of Wyndham Lewis. Wyndham Lewis, Ezra Pound and Henri Gordier Bujeska were the founder members of vorticism. The other chief members of vorticism were Jacob Epstein, Sian Evanson, Edward Wadsworth. and Alvin Langdon Coburn The term vorticism denotes a new trend both in art and literature Though vorticism derived inspiration from cubism and futurism it revolted against an Italian dominated movement futurism The vorticists condemned the dynamism of the futurists and their accelerated impressionism It detested the principles of futurism of romanticizing and glorifying the machine age It also criticized other modern trends both in literature and art for passively recording sense impressions. The vorticists employed bold lines, sharp angles, and planes in abstract composition in the visual arts. Many artists and writers embraced the vorticist style to first world war issues of the period. But its real force and beauty vanished after the vorticist exhibition held at the Doré Gallery in 1915. Both C. W. R. Nevinson and Wyndham Lewis were greatly influenced by Filippo Tommaso Marinetti. Like the futurist, the vorticists advocated diversion from symbols, syntax, meter and punctuation and they introduced a new art which represents nature in a dynamic state. The vorticist movement had its mouthpiece in the magazine Blast, the review of the great English vortex. Ezra Pound and Wyndham Lewis were the co-editors of this magazine. It published works of the members of the vorticist movement. The magazine Blast tried to bring together artists and writers of the English avant-garde. 
Ezra Pound's views on the image and symbolism appeared in the magazine Blast. Vorticism, according to Ezra Pound, was an extension of the principles of Imagism to other arts including painting and sculpture. It combines techniques of Cubism and Futurism in an effective manner without imitating them. It is important to note that Vorticism promoted and supported non-representational art, primitive myth and rituals. The horrors of the First World War left its imprint on the works of many great writers of that time and Thomas Stearns Eliot and Ezra Pound were no exception. The First World War affected the writers both psychologically and physically. The Vorticist writers carved out their own wastelands in their works of art across Europe afflicted with disillusion and degeneration. Ezra Pound's poem Provincia Deserta presents the image of the wasteland which was to rule over the writers and their literature after the First World War. Thomas Stearns Eliot's famous poem The Wasteland can be deemed as a fine examples of decay and degeneration of values in the modern age. Ezra Pound's famous work The Cantos can be called as the fine example of vorticism. The Cantos of Ezra Pound introduces many mythical deities and figures such as Eros, Aphrodite, Helen, Demeter, Dionysus, and Pomona. It depicts the poet's own version of mythicized copy of history presenting a contrast between the fertility and richness of the ancient world and the degeneration and decay of the present age. Ezra Pound's The Cantos makes the reader recall Thomas Stearns Eliot's famous work The Waste Land which holds mythical background. He found affinity with Ernest Fenelosa's views on poetry that the observance of rituals is significant for the regeneration of society which influenced Ezra Pound to great extent. Pound has shared the same view in his work The Spirit of Romance published in 1910 and Vorticism in 1914. The Vorticists focused their attention to the abstraction of essential emotion in the formal fabric or structure of painting, sculpture, music and poetry. It should be noted that Ezra Pound elaborated his theory of the image in the magazine Blast. According to Ezra Pound, the vortex was the strong force of the avant-garde which banishes the complacency of all the established traditions and culture. He found union of energy and emotion in the paintings of Wyndham Lewis, Picasso, Whistler, and Kandinsky. He also observed strange blending of emotion and dynamic energy in the woodblocks of Edward Wadsworth and sculpture of Henri Gordia Bajeska. According to Ezra Pound, all these art forms are one and hold pure form. Ezra Pound adhered to the doctrine propounded by Walter Pater that all arts approach the conditions of music. Ezra Pound applied his own idea of metamorphosis and fluidity to a vorticist concept of structure. Ezra Pound defined the image as a radiant mode or cluster from which and through which, and into which, ideas are constantly rushing. It is important to note that Ezra Pound's concept of a symbol is quite different from the other symbolist poets. He has defined symbolism as a belief in a sort of permanent metaphor. This does not necessarily indicate a belief in a permanent world but a belief in that direction. Ezra Pound criticized the symbolists for employing a symbol with intended meaning. So, Ezra Pound preferred use of organic images to ornamental images by maintaining complete objectivity. There is no doubt that Ezra Pound was highly influenced by Algernon Charles Swinburne, Dante Gabriel Rossetti, Robert Browning, Ernest Dowson and the aesthetic movement. Wyndham Lewis, a leader of the Vorticists, produced several novels and essays which unveiled the hollowness of modern values and beliefs. His novel Tar appeared on the literary scene in 1918. The novel is set in art-driven Paris, where the frenzied bohemianism has assumed a political and sexual arrogance when confronted with bourgeois sentimentalism. Ezra Pound praised and appreciated Tar as the most vigorous and volcanic English novel and hailed Wyndham Lewis as the rarest phenomena, an Englishman who has achieved the triumph of being also a European. Wyndham Lewis's novel The Apes of God has been written in satiric vein. It appeared in 1930. The novel presents the shortcomings and flaws of artist-dominated London in the 1920s. 
In the novel, Wyndham Lewis attacked the Bloomsbury Group. Wyndham Lewis has expressed his political views in The Art of Being Ruled in 1926. He stated that society has been metamorphosed and revolutionized by mechanical development. The change and revolution should be accepted by the artist. In The Art of Being Ruled, Lewis has dreamt of a society emancipated from the manacles of poverty and disparity. Ezra Pound introduced vorticism in Britain to Alvin Langdon Coburn who began to reassess his photographic style under the spell of vorticism. He produced bold and effective portraits of Ezra Pound by employing three images of different sizes overlapping each other. Henri Gordier Bujeska, a French sculptor, was one of the founder members of vorticism. He was famous for his pen and pencil drawings which appeared in the periodical, Rhythm. Henri Gordier Bujeska also produced a vorticist history of sculpture published in the first issue of The Blast. Henri Gordier Bujeska's works celebrate the energy and richness of primitive art and it criticizes the ideals of the Renaissance and the Greeks. Edward Wadsworth, one of the renowned members of the vorticist movement produced fine abstract paintings and dazzle camouflage for the Royal Navy during the First World War. The Vorticists' belief in the purity of machine age was shattered to pieces when the First World War broke out. It was challenged by the harsh realities of life in the trenches. Thus most of the Vorticist artists and writers later moved away from the avant-garde and embraced realistic style that resulted in the demise of Vorticism. It was probably ended because of the quarrel between Ezra Pound and Wyndham Lewis. You liked the video? I hope so. I will meet you soon with a new video on an interesting topic of English literature. I have recently produced many useful videos for you on this channel. I hope you will definitely visit this channel Literature Guide and watch all those informative and useful videos because they are very informative and the students who have been pursuing net and set exams can get some benefit from all these videos. You can make use of all my videos during the examination. I would like to thank once again to my subscribers and non-subscribers for your support. It is only because of your support this channel could grow. I will meet you soon with a new and useful video on English literature. Meet you soon. Please subscribe Literature Guide.